welcome to IDB everyone, it is Andrew here. When Evernote made a few changes to their business model and their app, I moved away, it became too cluttered and too busy and too expensive to keep up with. So I switched to Bear, which has been a newer note taking app that I've come to love even more than Evernote. There was a major new update not long ago that took advantage of all the latest features in iOS 11 and version 1.3 is now out that adds even more drag and drop features and a support for the Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and see what is new in Bear 1.3. The first major addition is the drop bar. Drop bar is a new feature where you can drag and drop one or many of your notes and perform bulk actions. So simply hold onto a note for a second, even works on iPhone as you can see here. We hold on for a second, if you press even harder it 3D touches and previews the note. So it's just a light hold or a long press, not a 3D touch. Simply long hold on it and you can drag it to the bottom to that drop bar. And now you have this whole list of actions here, whether you want to pin the note, move it to trash, duplicate it, share it, export, copy, or even copy a link to that note. And all this works for multiple notes as well. So you don't have to just do this one at a time. You can do all of these actions with multiple notes, which makes it really, really handy. So let's go ahead and try it one more time, but this time we're gonna hold on to a note and then tap a few others, so maybe a few other recent notes. I can tap, go down to that drop bar, drag and drop, and I have all these action actions again. I can also merge all of these notes together to make one super note and do the same thing on the exports, combine them into one as I go to export them. All this, of course, works over here on the iPad as well. Drag and drop one note or drag and drop many notes right on the drop bar. And then again, we have that full list of actions that we saw over on the iPhone. Drag and drop is pretty awesome here. And you can see how powerful it is, especially on the iPad, as you can drag and drop notes between different applications as well. Moving on, we have a new update that brings an entirely new app to the Apple Watch. Bear was never available before on Apple Watch, and it is now, and it's actually really powerful. You can see your 10 most recent notes there below, as well as uh, editing those notes, adding to those notes, marking off features, like if you have like a list, a checklist on there, you can actually go through and tap and mark things off of to-do lists or checklists, any of those you can do, and you can just create new notes completely. Of course, you're not going to be typing on your Apple Watch, so it does use your voice. But anytime you need to take a note, tap on new note, go ahead and make your little recording. And in real time, it'll convert what you're saying to text and then put all that text right into a new note for you. And once you're done, tap on done. And you can actually view that note immediately right there. And it'll show up on your iPhone and your iPad as well if you have that sync enabled. If I view that note, I can see everything that I just said as well as the option to append and add even more to that note. You can also swipe left on a note to immediately add more. If I want to add another sentence, like I can say uh, what application I want to use for that uh, zipping video in iOS 11. I can add that onto the end, and now that's been added to my note. Bear is a simple, beautiful, powerful application for iOS, Mac, iPad, and now Apple Watch. Let us know what you think of Bear down below in the comments and what you think of these new features. Are you going to be using that new one on the Apple Watch or do you not like the ability to use your voice and would you rather find some way just to type or do something else on your Apple Watch? Let us know below. Go ahead and click on that big red subscribe button to keep these videos coming. Give us a thumbs up and until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.